Hi, and welcome to Neo Just Makeup. I'm Neo, and today I'm just doing a test. Um, <laughs> I'm not going to put on the rest of my face because I'm only testing eye stuff today because um, I'm trying to do two of these, and uh, I have like less than two hours to do it. So I'm just doing my eyes today, which normally takes me the most. <laughs> um, but anyway, so I just wanted to do a review today because one brand that I've always really been interested in, but I've never really tried much from, just like relaunched a lot of their stuff in the US and other countries as well, because they wanted to uh, market themselves more towards the more current market. And the company I'm talking about is Shiseido, this is their older packaging. This is one of the Rouge Rouge uh, lipsticks. This is a mini in ruby copper, which let me show you. I've used it, I used it once. But this is what their packaging used to look like. Um, and honestly, this is a really pretty red that I used like one time. And because what? I'm not a big fan of stick lipsticks, but it's a pretty red. It's kind of like a cream finish. So, this is what their packaging used to look like. This is their new packaging. They're definitely going, they're, like I said, they're repackaging a lot of things. They're going for the more like sleek and modern design instead of the traditional Japanese branding that they had before. That being said, I'm really curious to see how their new formulas and everything go. And uh, I just want to see because, oh my gosh, I love how the packaging is. Honestly, the packaging is what brought me into this whole thing. So this is their new, um, let me see, what's the name of this again? This is the Modern Matte Powder Lipstick. And I have this shade Semi Nude, which, okay, again, this is just so pretty and it's magnetic. Like, and then you just, yeah. Anyway, you have this nice, and now it's a nice square tip. Uh, I'm going to save this for a little bit because I want to take care of the eyes first. But Here's the, I have two other eyeshadow quads. These are the essential eye palettes. I have, uh, this is Cat Street Pops, and this is Namiki Street Nature. So let me pull these out real quick. I'm gonna do one eye each. So real quickly before I get both out, cause I think I'm gonna do one at a time. This is the Cat Street Pops, their number seven palette. And uh, I just had to say, super compact palette, and you're getting 5.2 grams, so you're getting over a gram in each eyeshadow, so that's really good. So again, really compact, really pretty, and magnetic, I, it's hard to show this, but it's a magnetic palette, and whenever you open it, you get ah, fun purples and mirror. Which I had to be honest, this mirror is super clear. So I appreciate that. Um, I will say the Cat Street Pops is the one I'm really curious about because I remember I saw someone swatching. She's like, oh, it's so pigmented. I'm like, girl, that ain't pigmented. That's patchy. Okay. So I want to see what actually performs like on the eyes with a brush and everything. And the best way to do that is to just go in. Now, because this is a quad, you don't really have that much choice in color. <laughs> because I basically had to go uh, transition, outer corner, then highlighting. Which, by the way, this one, like, let me see if I can show you. It's more of a pink. It's like a peach pink color. There you go. Now you can see it. It's really pretty. So I'm going to try these out. I'm going to put the Cat Street on this eye and the Miki Street Nature on this eye. And so I'm first going to dip into the uh, matte purple that's right here. And I'm going to put that 
uh, like into the crease, above the crease. And I actually did already prime and set my base, pr my primer, with um, just some uh, loose setting powder. And so yeah, now we're just gonna go like above and into the crease. Okay, so honestly, I'm surprised because this was the shadow that was like not pigmented. And it's pigmented. Um, I only had to dip in like three, four times to get the full area. And I don't, it's a little patchy right here. So let me try to fix that real quick. And now it's not. Um, in person, it's like a really, well, I, I think it's blending in with the setting powder I put on. So it's like warming in. So it's like a warm purple. I like it. Uh, now I'm going to take this shade right here, which is a, well, it's like a matte plum with like a little bit of micro glitter in it, which normally you just put in so that way something blends better. So I'm going to put that on the outer, slightly into the crease. Switching brushes, I'm going to go for more pencil brush, just to add it in. I'm going to take my Sephora Collection number 10 brush and just blend. Okay, <laughs> wow. So on the lid, I'm going to take this shade, which is like a uh, lilac lavenderish color. I'm just going to pat it in here. Okay, so that color is, it shows up, but it's more of like a, it's not really like a regular metallic. So it's just like a light shimmer. And even then it's not that pigmented. So I'm going to real quickly spray my brush and then put it on, see how that does. Okay, so it does show up more in person than it does on camera. But quickly, I'm just going to take my finger to see how it does. Oh my gosh, these are so creamy. This one is. Let's see. Okay. So this is definitely a very soft and creamy formula. And I think it actually applied so much better with just the finger. So... Future, I know ahead of time if I want to use that shade again, use the finger. It's the easiest way. Uh, real quick, I'm going to blend again using my Sephora Collection Number 10 brush just to blend out the edges. Now I'm going to try that pinkish peach color, this one right here, and I'm going to put that one on the inner corner, and I want to try it on a different brush, see if it works. Oh wow, that already is picking up. See? It is going down, it's just not showing up, so I'm going to real quickly take my finger again. These are so soft, oh my gosh. Okay, and... So I want to try something, I'm going to actually put down the purple I put into my crease. I'm going to pat that on the lid. And then I'm going to put these shades on top and see how they do. I, I also have to say, this is one of the best purples I've ever used. Like the palette is really nice. Okay. Let me see now if this works better as a transformer. Okay, now that's a nice look. Okay, now that we have this eye done, we're gonna hop over into Nakimi Street Nature, which again, love the compact. Really pretty. Yeah. 
Oh no, Namiki. Namiki Street Nature, which is their number three palette, which is, oh my gosh, I look at it, I just die. Very, I, you think me, I'm like always like the fun colors. I live for stuff like this. I live for green and gold and brown. I like if I see that color combination, I go crazy. Um, hmm. So this palette only has one matte, which is the brown, which is right here. So uh, I'm gonna use that in the crease and try to build it up and see how it goes. Okay, so the brown was a little patchy at first, but it builds up and it smokes itself out easily. So you can see like it has a gradient of color, even though it's just one shadow. I like that. I'm gonna be hard headed again and try to see if these metallics, because these three are uh, shimmer slash metallic, I'm going to try to see if they work better on this because they're different colors. I'm going to try the green on this side. So the green has more pigment, I'm just, I don't know, it's really pretty though, I like the green. I'm going to grab the bronzy color right here and place that right in here, see how that does. By the way with the green I did not wet it, so that's the natural color that you get. Okay, so that like bronzy gold blend it in with that green effortlessly. So let me real quickly just Wow, that's a really nice eye. On camera it's showing up darker, so let me see if I dim Whoa. Yeah, let me just blind myself. How about that? Uh no, let me see. Now you can see a little bit better. Quick, let me just blend that edge right here. So you can see how the, without so much light, you can see how this is definitely better as toppers. This one is better for regular color. Let me turn the brightness back up. Okay, so yeah, that goldish color is pretty, really pretty. Okay, now I'm going to take. It's like a champagne gold. I know, like, me who loves fun color also loves, like, the mutuals. Let's see. Place that right in here. It doesn't give off much of a sheen, but it's pretty. Okay, so my camera stopped recording for a second, but you can really see how these three... Okay, so this palette is really, very, like, on the... This one is like really cohesive. This one, I miss. I want to try it again without this powder because I used a I used a tinted setting powder, so that was me. I want to see how it does with a regular cream powder. I definitely say for inner corner, this one has the stronger punch. This one, that pink, just does not really have much of a punch. The purple though, that using it as a topper worked a lot better. The pink, eh. So three out of four shots with that one are good. Now I want to go back to what I love and go to the lipstick. Because honestly, yeah, let's see how these are. So again this is the hyper matte power matte. No, what are you? This is the modern matte powder lipstick and semi-nude. They have a lot of fun colors including like so many reds. I'm like, oh, I need them all. Um, and no, I'm not going to take anything underneath just because like, you see how they are. I want to see how this color looks.
By the way, before I actually place this one down here, this would have been good Kim Possible, like, color. Okay, I really like this lip color. It's like a... It's very light on the lips. Very creamy. And like... My lips are very dry right now, so I'm like loving like the hit of moisture I'm feeling. And this is... Like you saw, it is pigmented. So... I think I have my thoughts. I'm going to go and how I use them. The Cat Street Pops. I have to say, the mattes are my favorite part. The purple shimmer that you get, it's pretty. I feel like I need to, I'll, I'll, I'm gonna experiment with this again and like try something else. Because here's the thing about these. These are quick, and easy on the go palettes. Like four shades that you can use to create one look that's gonna look good. Obviously, I feel like both of these look good. I'm weird. <laughs> and honestly, I feel like out of these, one that's really the truest dud is this shade right here. But hold on, let me see real quick. I'm gonna grab I'm gonna grab this brush real quick. See how it does this up. Highlight color. And eh. so I feel like that might actually be a better like a transition color. But overall, by the way, I haven't mentioned how expensive how much these are. So both of these palettes are $35 each, right? Hold on. Okay, so I did, forgot to mention, and I forgot to bring it up. So these Shiseido palettes are $34 each. I feel like... Hmm. Honestly, I have to say, even though I like how this one looks, I prefer the performance of that uh, new Maybelline palette I got. Honestly, I can't complain because it did do a good job with creating a look. Like, this is a very solid look. You can go on this and you'd be fine. Um, but ultimately, I feel like my Norvina or my new Maybelline palette would do better. I mean, I've, I've used them. They have done better. But if you're looking for something that you have like quick on the go just have four shades so you don't have to worry about it, the fuss this does work I cannot say it does not um, again I love the like packaging it's very modern and at the same time classic like Japanese because Shiseido is a Japanese company I'm sorry you're hearing clicking I'm like because they also come in these like cardboard sleeves um, Hmm. Honestly, if I were trying to say, because they do have other palettes, they also have like a blue with gray and black. Um, they have some other ones that are really like different and nice. So I, uh, I have mixed feelings about this one. Honestly, this purple one, I have mixed feelings about because it's like, it's nice, but. Really, I'm trying to think, will I use it? No, I'd probably stay to Norvina or my Maybelline. Which is sad. Because I had high hopes for this. Unlike the Maybelline where I had no, I, I had no expectations or anything. But I, uh, okay, here's why my thoughts are so weird. Shiseido is relaunching this brand. Main, like Not relaunching the brand, but relaunching all of this new stuff because they want to access a market where they're not as well known. I don't want the first review that a lot of people see because a lot of people aren't talking about Shiseido and how they're revamping everything. I don't want a lot of people to see the negative of saying like, oh yeah, the Norvina or whatever is gonna do better. 
because this still did good. The only dud is the salmony pink, which honestly, yeah, I just, it just did not work, which is okay. But the thing is, this was so nicely pigmented, which is really hard for purples. And so I had to commend Shiseido for that. So for knocking it out of the park with these matte purples, great job. Um, now about the Namiki, whoop, about the Namiki Street Nature. I could use this every day and be happy because these are the types of colors I love. I honestly love earth tones and I feel like if I use like another shade or two just to help blend out that brown and to really pack on that green, I'd be set for every day. That's me. Um, I know not everyone's like that. So, some people will use purples every day. That's their thing. Personally, for me, I feel like these this like side blended out a little bit better because I'm also like seeing the harsh line right here. Which let me see. Okay, let me try to blend that edge out right there. Okay, I blended a little bit. But this one, I feel like, really gets what I like. And it just looks really nice on the eye. Now, I'm saying that this one doesn't look nice on the eye, too. But this one's just like, I don't know. This one just speaks to me more. Which is weird. <laughs> um... Yeah, I like, like, I like both. I'm going to be honest. Like, even though this one, I'm like, okay, I have more, I have alternatives for this that I could use. I still like it. Is the paint the best? No. Am I going to get this to a friend? No, because it was $34 and I want my money back. <laughs> no, I'm just joking. I'm probably going to keep it, most likely. Again, I need to experiment with it. Um, but this, I just feel like this is something I can use every day. Just have four shadows that look good. And I can smoke out the brown underneath. Um, is it $34 worth? I mean, yeah, yeah. Plus, I mean, you are getting a, well, let me see. I'm going to real quickly check. Let's see, so that's... So you're getting about 1.3 grams of product per eyeshadow, which is very nice. Which is larger than your regular eyeshadow. Honestly, I, I feel like... Okay, here's the thing I feel. If I could only keep one, I'm going to keep this one. Because it works for my eye. I like the colors more than this one, and this one blended out better. And the colors blended together very well. So... If I had to recommend one, it would be the Naminki Street Nature, which is just really pretty. Now the lipstick. I gave it a little bit of time to dry, and in that time it has, in that time it has gotten a little more matte, and it still feels very light on the lips. It feels very nice. I like how you can literally use it as liner because of the edge and it's really creamy. Now the, the lipstick is... Okay, so the lipstick itself is $26 and I like it. <laughs> I know, I'm like, that is expensive for a lipstick and I could probably find something very similar, but it just glided on. It was so creamy, so smooth, and something else I had to say about the eyeshadows, they're so creamy. Like, they are creamy, they're nice and soft, so right on that Shiseido. This lipstick, yes. Um, so, plus I'm just thinking like, this is every day. Because this is like an everyday color, so I feel like this is a really good match. You can also work with this, it'd still be very nice, so. Either way, I feel like this is like solid no matter what. 
This is like a chestnut, like brown, but it has like subtle pink undertones and it. it's so pretty. Oh my gosh. Anyway, I need to stop rambling. Um, so overall, I say if you are looking at these two palettes in particular, because they have like, I think six other palettes. I'd say Cat Street Pop, you can work it in, but you might want something else to work with it. Namiki Street Nature is very usable by itself. You don't need much else. So that's your pros and cons. Um, $34 each. Up to you. The lipstick, I'm just loving it. I'm, I was like, the entire time I was like, mm, I can't wait to use the lipstick. I'm going to wait till the end because otherwise I'm going to stare at it. And again, it has gotten more matte. And just like, let's see. Uh, some does blot away, but you still see like the color still there. So, yeah. Um, it smells really good too, so can't complain. Uh, so, I do want to say there are a lot more things from Shiseido that's coming out that I want to try. I'm just a broke bitch. <laughs> uh, I'm saying that about myself. Because uh, they are a more luxurious brand. Now, coming to the U.S., trying... Not coming to the U.S., because they've been in the U.S., but relaunching or redoing a lot of their formulas so that way they have more pigment, so that way they match up in more like uh, U.S., more like Western markets, is bold of them. So I commend them for doing this because it's working. It's really pretty, really pigmented. And I have to say, I'm honestly really impressed. So I need to stop rambling because I'm no longer thinking I'm making sense. And I'm going to stop now. Um, if you liked how this video was just like candid, sit down, talk, try, please do like, comment, and subscribe. And if you like me and you want to see more, please do subscribe and click that little bell button because every time I release a new video, you'll get a notification. And by the way, I did this after getting off of work. So I've been at work since 9.30 this morning, honestly a little bit beforehand. And I wanted to sit down and do this the other yesterday, but I didn't have the time yesterday. And oh my gosh, this lipstick is, oh, it's gorgeous. I love it. Anyway, I need to go. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye.